For our second segment, we'll cover quick reporting on the web dashboard. In this segment, we'll cover using the Reports tab to generate reports, reports with only business or personal drives included, specifying which vehicles are included in your report, downloading any of your archive reports, as well as viewing your reports in PDF or CSV format. Let's begin. The MileIQ web dashboard is available at dashboard.myliq.com, and this is a great resource to not only see all your drives, uh, classify your drives in bulk, make any changes or edits to those past drives, uh, even add drives manually. Um, but one of the key features is the reporting functionality. You can report your drives from either the Drives tab or the Reports tab at the top. We'll start with the Reports tab as it's the quickest way to report on the web dashboard. Here at the top you'll see the different filters that we can interact with to choose what is included in our report. So this first tab will be our date filter. And this date range um, works by tapping any two different dates. Here I selected all of November. I can quickly jump to last month with these tabs, with these options at the top of the screen. I can jump to year-to-date drives. I can jump to drives from last year. And then with this middle filter, I can select either all my drives so that personal and business drives are included in a report. Um, that would also mean uh, medical drives or charity drives or any moving drives but you can also select just your personal drives or just your business drives if you need to just report drives to an employer. And this right one allows you to select which vehicles are to be included in this report. Right now I have Green Machine and my car, my two nicknamed vehicles included in this report. You'll see a bunch of other hidden vehicles that I've tried and tested. Um, I won't include any of those, but you can simply tap the All Vehicles to select everything. Uh, you could tap it again to deselect everything, um, and then just pick these one by one. So I'll include just Green Machine in my car. I will include just drives from the year 2017 and just business drives. So as you can see, the date range showing what drives will be included, the criteria of just business drives and those two vehicles. Uh, and then you see some breakdown of the stats. Then you see the total value. The total value is your total miles multiplied by your mileage rate. So I will click create this report to begin. Here I will enter the report details like the name. I'll do 2017 business drives as that's sufficient for me to remember what this report is about. And if I go right to create this report, this will automatically email my MyIQ email address a copy of this report um, so I can download it in either CSV or PDF. You can see on the bottom left that this report is now generating. We're creating this on the back end for you to receive and download. At this time it was sent to your email address, um, but you can also just download these directly to your computer or hard drive uh, using the CSV or PDF buttons at the bottom of the report. This will indicate what file version you want the report in. Before I show you the different formats, let's go over archive reports. If you need to download any of your past reports, you can check the archive reports section below. Here you'll see the date they were created the name you gave them, and then the date range that the report contains. You can quickly download them, delete any, you don't need any more. Uh, if you need to get one back that you just deleted, you can hit the undo button, or rerun the report with the same criteria. Now let's check out the different file formats. Let's first make a report of all of our drives containing just Green Machine and My Car. This will be a report from 2017. So I'll hit create this report. I will name this 2017 all drives. 
so I can differentiate it from my 2017 business drives report. I'll send a copy of this, not only to my own email address, but to my manager at this fictional company. This is submitted by Ben for client John S uh, for the webinar project. And uh, for this client, we just had a different uh, mileage rate that we were going to charge at uh, just 50 cents. So for this specific report, Business Drives will get the rate of 50 cents per mile rather than the default 2017 standard rate of 53.5 cents per mile. I'll hit create this report. So as you can see, the 2017 All Drives report is now generating down in the bottom left. Now the report is available for us to download as either CSV or PDF. Also, we can download this report from our own email address that's on file with MileIQ. And also our manager, manager at contoso.com, also received a copy of the CSV and PDF reports. So let's take a look at them. I'll open the PDF file, which will download right to my computer. I'll tap it again to open it. And as you can see, the PDF mileage report for all my drives from 2017 is open. At the top, you can see the name of the person who submitted it, the customer it was for, the project we inputted for webinar, as well as the custom business rate we inputted at 50 cents per mile. At the top of the report, you'll have a breakdown. Uh, this is what we call the summary. The summary section has your vehicles you selected, their start of the year odometer, and then the total miles uh, for business, commute, personal, and then add those all up for the total distance. The business value in money is the business miles multiplied by the business rate that we've set. Again, it will default to your country's standard rate for that year. In 2017, the rate was 53.5 cents per mile. And in 2018, it's up to 54.5 cents per mile for our US customers. Moving forward, we have the parking in total money parking in dollars, total business value in dollars, which is the business value in dollars from this column, and then add the total parking in tolls. So you can see the same as we didn't have any parking in tolls for the vehicle named my car. And also the deductible personal miles like medical, moving, and charity drives. You also see the totals when you add up all the vehicles included on the bottom column. And when we scroll down, we'll get a detailed mileage log of all of our drives that we reported. We'll get the when the drives took place, that's the start time, uh, the why, which is the classification, either business or personal, and then the purpose. Some will just be business, business, meaning we just selected business as a classification. Um, other drives will have business meeting if we had a specific purpose we assigned to it. We also have where, which is the start and end location. We have the vehicle assigned to it. And then the stats for each vehicle, like the distance, the value, how much parking was, how much tolls were, and then the total for that specific drive. Each page will have the totals. And below that, we'll have the report totals when you add them all up. You can check through this or send this off to whoever needs it. But now let's go back to the Reports tab and check the CSV, the Comma Separated Value Format. This is a spreadsheet that's best opened in Microsoft Excel or Google Sheets. So we'll open this up. As you can see, we have one apparent issue with the start date and end date looking like they're all blanked out with these hashtags or number signs. This is an easy fix. All you have to do is expand the column. Once you expand the column enough so that the entire dates will show, you'll be able to see them. I'll do the same for the end dates. And now all my drives will show their start and end dates. You can see what category or classification they were put in in the C column, as well as the start and end dates. You can adjust, excuse me, start and end locations, and you can adjust these as you go to get your breakdown. But again, we still have the summary section at the top 
which uh, breaks down each vehicle you've included in this report and their total business miles, commute miles, personal miles, and then the total distance, and then what those are worth in business value. So we can use this information for reporting on our taxes or anything else that we need to prove our mileage for.